Hey, Silas here. This is the second part of the love series. The first video, which is up on the screen there, is what is love? In that video, I talked about how I was about to go to a meetup to discuss the topic of love. It's uh, held by the Socrates Club, which is a philosophical group that talks about different topics. So we got there and the moderator had a list of, I think it was 11 or 10 points, and I'll get into that in the next video, but he had divided it into three parts and said these are the different sections and how we're going to talk about the general topic of love. And with a varied group of people that were there, you had different opinions and people were taking different angles on this. And in a meeting like this, in a symposium like this, in my opinion, one of the most important things is to set up a definition of what love is. And I had some experience in the past with this, and my main experience, I want to think one of my first experiences, both with imagining the kind of environment that I find myself at this, at this meetup, that symposium type environment, and coincidentally the topic of love itself was in Plato's The Symposium. I remember taking the time to actually read this book and was amazed by how the, a good chunk of the beginning of the book was taken to actually define what the topic was. See, the Symposium, it's a philosophical text by Plato, which is dated in 385 to 370 BC. So love was examined in this, in this symposium, in this time when they kind of sat together and they were just getting drunk on wine and food and they knew each other. There was a camaraderie between them and they were sitting there and discussing what love was. But they took a specific attention and importance in setting and defining what they were talking about. Now, I think that is a very important thing that's not really discussed, it's not really done in a lot of the world today. And I'm just having another conversation today with one of my friends about private property, and we were just having a pre-conversation about it and talking about how the importance of setting up what we mean when we're discussing certain things. Just because we use the same language, just because we're speaking in English, doesn't necessarily mean we're talking about the same topics. Like a big example was people would say unconditional love in this meetup. And for me, I'm wondering, what do you mean unconditional love? To me, that term is more of a red flag when it's talking about love. But okay, even the term red flag, what does that necessarily mean to different people in different ways? Okay, so the symposium, they took some time to sit down and actually discuss what is the aspect of love that they're going to be discussing. So in that sense, I'm going to take that and break down these series of videos on love in a similar sense, with the same kind of idea in mind. I'm going to break down the different kinds of love that I think are out there and that were discussed in this meetup and also in general. To me, I would say, what is the purpose behind love? What is the main reason love exists? And I will still stick and make the case for, but this might change during this and with your comments and things like that, maybe. But I'm thinking it's to continue life. It's, in, it's to continue the reproductive process, process. I think there's something that comes out of that. I think one of the key questions I had for them in that meetup and for you out here is, do you think you can love something that hurts you? In my opinion, you can't. You may think something hurts you, but if you can find out that... I mean, you may think that thing is positive for you, but once you find out something truly is negative to you, I don't think it's possible to love that thing. So when you think of that, what is one of the most positive things for a life form? Because I think something like love is an effect of our biology, of our existence, of our awareness of existence. And I think continuing that... Would be one of the would be considered one of the most positive things. Continuing to live, continuing existence, the creation, the continuation, the existence part of it. So, <laughs> saying a bunch of words and throwing them together. But yeah, that's that's my general idea. Okay, let's just go with a few definitions here of love: a deep, tender, ineffable feeling of affection and solicitude towards a person, such as that arising from kinship, recognition of attractive qualities or a sense of underlying oneness. Then the next ones, a deep feeling of intense desire and attraction towards a person with whom one is disposed to make a pair. The emotion of sex and romance. Then there's sexual passion, 
sexual intercourse, and a love affair. And then now you go into an intense emotional attachment for a pet or a treasured object. I think those are the general ones that I've got to discuss where it's more of a romantic love, more of a platonic love, which I think is kind of interesting that they say platonic love, even though with Plato's Symposium, they were talking about more of a... That term platonic love has come to mean more of a non-sexual, non-romantic kind of love, yet that was discussed in depth in the Symposium, which I do suggest, if you haven't taken time, time to read, you should definitely check that book out. And then last, of course, would be loving of objects or pets or non-human beings. And I think a lot of those times, to get that love, you find yourself kind of anthropomorph anthropomorph anthropomorphizing those things. <laughs> Some of these words, you read them, you hear them, you say them, but saying them is a whole different thing. And I think that fits with love. Love is a kind of a thing where you think you feel. You feel it, you experience it, but... Now, when you try to say it, is it really the same thing? Okay, so that's the second video on this love thing. I will try to get into more of the series in the upcoming weeks. I have a few other videos in mind. But, yeah, thanks for listening. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, till next time. Bye.